Hi everyone. We are touching on prorations and what prorations mean and what prorated and that term in general means for buyer and means for a seller. What typically happens in a real estate transaction is say you go under contract, you're a buyer, you go under contract, you're buying a home for $100,000 and it is July and you have a target closing date of October 2nd. Typically, school taxes are due in September. So a lot of times sellers will ask us, well, do I have to pay my school taxes? Well, the fact of the matter is you have to pay your school taxes when they're due. So we typically advise, yes, it's just like a mortgage payment. People will ask us, do I have to make my mortgage payment for, for like October? If we're closing October 2nd, do I have to make my mortgage payment? The safest thing to do is to always make the payment because what will happen is when you close, you will get a credit for that amount that's prorated. And this is where prorations come in. They take that total amount. So say your taxes were $1,000. They would take that and divide it by the year. And they'd say, okay, you closed on the 2nd of October, but they were due on the 31st. So you're really only responsible for those two or three days between when they were due and when you closed, when you lived in the property. You only have to pay the taxes when you're living in the property. The buyer is responsible for when they're living in the property from then on. So they would be responsible from October 2nd through the 31st. So ideally, if it's possible, and it's not always possible because in, Sometimes people don't have the funds to do that when they're really getting down to the wire and they plan to close on this time and, and between moving, it can be expensive and not everybody has the funds to just make that payment and then be credited at closing for the difference, the prorated difference for those two days they were responsible for as opposed to the full year. So that typically what we recommend doing in that situation is calling the municipality, calling whoever you owe that money to, whether it's your mortgage company or whether it's the town, the county, the school, and just letting them know a lot of times when it comes to mortgage companies, they have a 15, you know, 10 to 15 day grace period. And oftentimes they'll say, as long as you're within that grace period, there are no negative repercussions, no fees, no uh, reporting to, to the credit bureaus, but make sure you know before you just don't do it because we want to make sure that you have, if you don't get hit with your credit report, you don't get hit with fees. If you are going to be paying on a mortgage payment or a, or taxes, and they're prorated, you're going to be getting back the money that you, the per day amount that you are owed for the amount of time you were not living at that residence. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. If you have a statement or a closing statement that you want clarification on when it comes to that, and you would like the advice of your attorney, we can you know, definitely defer you to them too to review all of that but we can absolutely offer any insight to prorations that we possibly can in combination with your attorney. And like I said, if there's any other way we can help, please let us know.